Hello and welcome to the history of Babylon 5. Today's episode we're going to be covering Mary Kirkish and here we go. Mary Kirkish was a Xeno archaeologist and employee of IPX. She was one of few surviving witnesses of the evacuation of a shadow vessel on Mars. Kirkish began working for interplanetary expeditions in 2248, conducting many archaeological digs on the alien worlds in search of new technology. In 2253, she was stationed on Mars, and after a number of false leads on artifacts supposedly buried beneath the Martian soil for thousands of years, one of IPX's sonic probes picked up something that was clearly not a natural formation, 300 feet below the surface of Syria Planum. The object was buried so deep that it was speculated that it must have been there for at least a thousand years, and seeing that it was in the middle of the Martian winter, it took weeks to evacuate just half of it. Just the sight of it was enough to give Kirkish nightmares for the rest of her life. The ship was a find of a lifetime, and a week after sending word to Earth Central, Kirkish and her team were suddenly ordered to stop digging and pull back to their secondary base, two miles away with a threat of dismissal for any that tried to stay. For the next six days they sat waiting while the unmarked shuttles flew in and out of the area surrounding the dig site before all activity suddenly ceased. Just then Kirkish saw another shadow vessel arriving overhead and began firing on the site. At first Kirkish thought it was trying to destroy its counterpart, but it soon became clear that it was finishing digging it out. After the new ship disappeared below the ridge, nothing happened for the next 20 or 25 minutes until they heard a mind-splitting scream, like the sound of something terrible being born, and they watched both ships take off for deep space. After the incident, Kirkish and her colleagues were warned that if they told anyone what they have seen there, there would be unfortunate consequences. They were quickly broken up and assigned to other worlds so they wouldn't have a chance to talk to each other. In March 2260, Kirkish was called into a new dig site on Ganymede, where another one of the same type of ships had been found. Learning that the powers back on Earth intended to try to use the ships to make humans more like the race that had built it, used it against other races and, if necessary, even their own people, Kirkish decided she had to intervene. Given that the other members of the original dig on Mars were all either dead or missing, Kirkish went on the run in the hopes of warning someone. The rangers brought word of her flight and her connection to the events on Syria Planum in 2253 to Michael Garibaldi, who had also witnessed parts of the incident. He had the rangers find Kirkish and get her off Mars, and spent about a week transporting her to Babylon 5. Marcus Cole brought her on board the station, though they were quickly pursued into down below by a group of bounty hunters. Though Marcus was able to fight him off, Kirkish was knocked out and nearly killed. After recovering under armed guard in Medlab, Kirkish met with Captain Sheridan, Commander Ivanova, Dr. Franklin, Delenn, Lanier, and Security Chief Garibaldi to tell them all she knew, including the fact that in three days the vessel would be taken back to Earth for study. With her story out and in the right hands, Mary resigned herself, saying that she didn't care if they killed her now. Delenn promised that wouldn't happen and she made arrangements to get her into Mimbari space. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.